Hello everyone, it's Jessica with another layout for ThermaWeb and today I'm showing my Hello Helper layout and I'm starting this layout with a piece of white cardstock by Park Lane and some shimmers paints and my little mini brayer. So I'm going to add some mixed media to my layout so I am just watering down these little pots of color and I just kind of dump them onto a sheet of clear acetate and then I use my brayer to actually roll this around on my layout to create some little pools of color and then I just kind of splattered it on top of all of that so I just made some splatters with the brayer itself with what was left over and then I used my paintbrush to add a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this a little bit with my heat gun and I'm gonna let it sit aside to finish drying while I prepare these little um, cardstock pieces that I have here with some easy cut adhesive so I've just peeled one side of the backing off of the easy cut adhesive and place it down on these little um, pieces of white cardstock that I had in my stash just left over from something else. So that's why you see me trimming them down a little bit because I just pulled out what I had. So I have already prepared them. I'm gonna go ahead and do some die cutting on these. So I'm pulling out some of these little Hero Arts leaf dies. I'm gonna go ahead and run those through my manual die cutting machine. And then I'm pulling out three different colored foils today. Um, I think it's pewter, um, what are the other two? Uh, Peach Princess or Princess Peach, something like that. And then um, there's a third one in there too, but I'll link them below for you because I can't remember exactly what the third one's called. So uh, this is that Peach Princess one, I think it is called, and it's just so, so pretty. It looks kind of greenish here for a moment in the frame, but it's only because of the way my light is shining on it, but it's really super pretty. And that pewter color is like, um, kind of like a bronze or a brown color. And then there's another orange one in there as well. And the orange one's called Copper. That's what it is. I couldn't remember. Um, so yeah, there's three different colored foils here. I am just placing my die cut leaves directly down on top of the foil on the silver side, not on the colored side. You want your colored side to be up whenever you're foiling. So I'm just uh, pulling off the backing piece of my easy cut adhesive and cardstock and then just sticking that directly to my foil on the silver side and then I'm flipping them up to run them through my hot laminator, which is heating up now in between that craft and carrier sheet. So here you can see they've come out of my hot laminator. There on the left is my um, dried or mostly dried now at this point mixed media paper here. And I am just peeling my leaves off of the foil sheet. I find it's easier to just kind of place your finger on the foiled piece and kind of peel back the foil from it. And it seems to come off a little bit easier that way. So there I have all of my foiled leaves. I am pulling out a stencil from the Acorn Lane collection by Simple Stories and some Distress Oxide in Dried Marigold, which I'm just using a blending brush for. I could have pulled out some pixie tape to tape this down, but I felt for such a small area, I didn't really need to tape anything off. So I am just going to mat my photos here. I've matted them with some smooth white cardstock, and then I'm going to mat them again with some of the patterned pieces of the Acorn Lane collection. And I'm actually using my um, tape runner, my Memory XL tape runner, to actually mat these. Um, but I did that off camera, so I don't know why, but I actually ended up cutting those parts of the video out for some reason. And it wasn't on purpose, but I think I just deleted them by accident. So um, I just used these little leaves here. I'm going to go ahead and layer them or start to layer them on the top and bottom of my layout. So all that mixed media, you kind of... <laughs> And I don't really see a whole lot of it, but I just really wanted it to peek through in a couple spots. That's really what I wanted it to look like, and that was my goal. So I am just layering my leaves, and you can see all those beautiful foiled colors. Just looks so pretty. And then here I'm just pulling out my sticker book. This is from the same Symbol Stories Acorn Lane collection. And I just um, I just got this in the mail not too long ago, and I'm already in love with it. But I just had to open this one. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet. So it's my first layout with this collection. And I am just going to use it along with some of these foiled leaves that I have here. I'm actually going to start sticking these leaves down and I'm just using my tape runner again for these and then I'm going to pop a couple of these up with some 3D foam squares by Duna K and then I will just continue adding little bits and embellishments from this collection 
and I'm going to throw on some sequins here as well from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So here's my little 3D foam squares. I just popped up those acorns with it and I am just looking through the sticker book, seeing what else I can add. I know I want to add some wordy bits on the left and then I want to add my title at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on this little area over here by adding a few of these little phrases and um, then I'll pull out a stamp set by Ellie Studio. I think it's called Home Sewn Stitches. And I'm just gonna add some little stamp stitches that look like kind of faux stitches in the top and bottom of my little wordy bits, just to give it a little bit more interest. And then here I'm just flipping through here to see what else I wanna possibly use on this layout. I love these little sticker books that come with the Simple Story Collections because I use them so, so much. And I just find they are just amazing for all kinds of different layouts and cards and all kinds of things. So they just have so many different elements in them and I just love them so much. So my title is actually going to say, um, Hello Helper. This uh, is a layout of my husband and my son whenever he was building a garage for our neighbor by our farm. And my uh, son was a little over one at the time and he just absolutely loved to help daddy and he still does to this day and he's five. So he was um, just having a blast walking around the job site and helping gather tools and different things that daddy needed. So I just thought it was so adorable and I took a few photos of him. His little sweatshirt said something about being a hunk and I just I thought it was the cutest thing. <laughs> so that's, that's my title. I'm going to put Hello Helper. And I just used some of the letters from the sticker book. And then um, the Hello is from the foam stickers in the collection as well. And then I'm just going to pop these other leaves right in here if I can get them in there. And that's going to pretty much finish up that cluster. And I'm just adding a couple more things here and there just to add a couple more little things from the collection itself. I'm gonna pop that guy right there. And um, I'm just gonna grab this little cute little tag thing that goes at the top of your photo or around the side or something. I'm gonna pop it right there on the top. And then um, the one that you see behind my photo is actually cut from a die from Elise Studio. It's called, I think it's called a pocket tab die or pocket file tabs or something like that. It's are actually little file folders, but I've been using them behind my photos a lot lately. I'm trying to work around. I still have my foils laying beside my desk here, so I'm trying to like maneuver things around them and on top of them, and they keep rolling all around. So here I am just grabbing a couple of these little adhesive um, buttons here, or adhesive flare, whatever they're called, and then a couple of these little die cuts. Um, I'm going to grab some more leaves. I know, shocker. And these little birds I'm going to add in as well. So I'm grabbing a couple of these smaller foam squares by Gina K, just because the bigger ones are just a little bit too big for something like this. So I'm just going to finish this off and I'm going to add some sequins by Spiegel Mom Scraps. And then that's pretty much going to finish this one up. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as always. And um, I thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so much for all of your sweet comments. And I hope that I have inspired you to create based off of this layout. Feel free to scrap lift it and create one of your own. And um, again, let me know if you have any questions and I'll link everything below. And I'm going to pop some music in here for now. And I will stop back at the end with the finished layout. I guess that wasn't too long of a wait. Here is the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process today. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and I will link everything that I've used today in the description. So thank you, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.